Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again with another episode of Ark Survival Evolved here on the vanilla Pooping Evolved server. Hope you guys are having a good one today. My day is going pretty darn well. And uh, yeah, we just got back from PAX. Uh, this is my first vanilla episode that I am recording uh, after PAX. And uh, I figured I'd talk to you guys a little bit uh, as well as kick off a little bit of a another team day. So uh, in the past couple of episodes, we've been doing teams. We did a Raptor squad. We did a... Um, we did a Terror Bird squad. I, I had a brain fart there for a second. Uh, we had a Terror Bird squad. We had a Raptor squad. We did a Scorpion squad. Today, we're going to do a Parasur squad. Uh, and the reason we're going to do these guys is I'd like to get about four more, and uh, we're going to try them out. Uh, I have was talking to a guy named Typeforce at PAX this weekend, and his suggestion for Parasaurs in, or Parasaurs in SOTF was, like, very highly. So I figured that we would go ahead and uh, try them out. Should be uh, pretty cool to do so. Uh, what is required of these saddles? Uh, hide, fiber, uh, get some wood, and then we get one saddle there. Gonna need a little bit more hide. Let's see, is there any hide in here? There sure is. And we'll just need a little bit more wood. I don't know if there's any trees in here anymore. I think they're all out. But yeah, um, it just got back from PAX and, um... I want to try this team out here. Um, also, a little unfortunate uh, news came in today, and uh, I am going to be taking another trip. It's a little bit of a family emergency that uh, we did expect, but uh, it did end up happening a little bit quicker than expected. So, um, yeah, we're going to be taking another trip here, but you guys shouldn't see any laps and videos or anything like that, so I uh, should be back within a few days. So we should be all good there. Um, but yeah, PAX was a lot of fun. It was really great to uh, get to see Slip and uh, a bunch of the uh, ARC devs. Uh, you know, getting to meet those guys in person uh, was absolutely fantastic. And uh, uh, a lot of them were very, very nice and super, super people, um, you know, and hilarious, just hilarious people as well. So it was a, it was a pleasure to meet those guys. And uh, yeah, we got to check out a lot of cool games. Uh, we got to talk about uh, Ark, you know, we got to kind of see and hear about, you know, some some possible upcoming plans and, you know, just different stuff along those lines. Um, yeah, and it was, it was just, it was really cool. It was a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I, after talking to those guys, you know, quite a bit at the convention and everything, I am very much looking forward to, uh, you know, what ARC might hold for us in the future. Um, you, you know, what they're seeing on, uh, you know, the Xbox servers. We've seen the announcement for SOTF coming to PlayStation. So that's going to be really cool for those guys that are on PS4 and you guys haven't uh, had the chance to play the game yet. You will get the chance. Uh, it is going to be SOTF. I'm not sure if they're going to do the regular version just yet. They are just going to do SOTF at this time. Uh, also, uh, those of you that like playing on Xbox and haven't uh, had a chance to play any mods, they're actually going to be bringing a couple of mods. They're gonna, I guess they're going to start doing like series of mods here uh, that they're going to release. But uh, for right now, they've done a map, which is the center. And they've also done uh, the Primitive Plus mod, I think, is the, the other one that's going to be coming to Xbox. Uh, so that's cool. It'll give you guys a taste of modded arc. And uh, I don't know if I'll be checking those out or anything. Uh, I have played the center a little bit on my own time. Uh, it was actually a consideration for the Pooping Evolve modded server uh, at, at a point. Um... But uh, we deemed it a little too small for what we wanted to do with the amount of people we had. Um, and then the Primitive Plus mod is something I personally have not checked out at all. Uh, so that'll be something I look forward to as well. Look at the Dire Bears. There's like one there and then there's one over here. Nothing high level. If I see a high level one, I will probably try and uh, tame it. But for right now, there's uh, nothing you know too crazy. Let's see about this Parasur. 36. Yeah, I want to try and get some that are decently high levels. 
um, not level 8. That is not one that I would consider decently high level. But uh, I'm not sure where we're going to find too many of these things at. As you can see, this one is uh, not all that fast. So, yeah, that's uh, that's kind of what they announced at ARC. You know, I got to meet, like I said, all of the ARC devs and everything. Uh, also got to meet uh, Type Force and Dark Dolphin in person. Uh, got to meet another guy named I Am Spoon in person. And, uh, yeah, it was just, it was a really great trip. It was a lot of fun. And I've got to check out a lot of other cool games as well, uh, which I'll kind of cover with you guys uh, over the next week or so. Um, if I get time before I have to leave, uh, I am going to start putting up some videos. If not, they'll start going up right when I get back. But uh, that's just basically, um, you know, a couple of uh, game trailers that I want to show you guys, talk about what I've seen. Uh, kind of give you guys a little bit of uh, overview on some of these games here. I've got uh, actually a list in front of me that I'm going to go through here. Um, the first one that I am really interested in, I actually already have a, a Steam code for, and I probably will be doing a couple of videos on it, is one called Forced Showdown. Uh, it's a twin-stick deck-building rogue light game. Uh, it's, it's definitely... I wouldn't. I don't really know how to explain it. Uh, it's like a well, for right now, it's like a single-player uh, version of League of Legends. Oh look, Terrorbird. Like a uh, single-player version of League of Legends, if you will, but that also has like Hearthstone elements to it. I don't know. It's really hard to explain, um, and it was unlike anything that I had ever played, really. Uh, but I had a lot of fun playing it, and uh, I played it for about 15 minutes there at the show. And uh, he said I was, do I did, I, I beat the the level that they have there, and they said that I had one of the best scores and best times uh, out of that. So I'm definitely looking forward to playing more of uh, Forced Showdown, and uh, like I said, possibly covering it for you guys. Um, we'll just have to to see how it goes and everything. And I, I do already have the game. So we're level 20. What is this one over there? This level 40. Nothing decent yet. Okay. All right. Let's see. There was this one over here, and I don't know where it went exactly. But let's see. Did it go down this way? It sure did. Okay. Let's uh, just keep heading over this direction. Oh, only level 16. Not worth it. Not worth it at all. All right. Um, so, yeah, that was one that I'm really looking forward to trying out. Uh, there's one called The Forgotten Key. And uh, I, I I don't remember this one. Um, I have the card sitting on my desk. Um, and for some reason, I just cannot place the game in my head whatsoever. And uh, I, I think if I maybe if I uh, uh, check it out here, Forgotten key let's see here um because it helps if i actually put uh, a, a e in key a uh, forgotten game yeah okay yeah uh so okay uh well it's not actually called forgotten key forgotten key is the developer studio that's doing it the game is actually called air and this is one that i do remember playing i had a lot of fun with it um, and it was it was just a blast. Uh, one of the uh, the description here on that is Air puts players back in the shoes of Auk, uh, a young pilgrim girl, to explore the unbelievable open world beneath her feet. Winds, uh, wings. Yes. So, um, to me personally, it felt a lot like uh, a Zelda feel um, in a way, uh, especially with the art style. And it's when I said it's Air, it's spelled A E R. Um, so yeah, it was definitely like a Zelda feel. Um, there's a lot of exploring to do. Um, but what was really cool and what made it unique in my opinion was that you could actually, uh, transform on the fly and, uh, you could, you know, transform into a bird. And that was really, really cool. Um, definitely made for some interesting gameplay mechanics in my opinion. And so I was uh, definitely looking forward to checking that out. Um, one thing that I was a little iffy on is uh, the guy told me that there's actually no protagonist. Um, so it's basically just exploring and then actually doing some, some puzzle uh, stuff as well. So 
uh, yeah, definitely looking forward to trying that one out and, you know, showing you guys some more of that in more detail. Man, we are just having no luck finding Parasurs, are we? What is chasing me? Um, let's see. Let's turn around here. Try and take these guys out here a little bit. Oh, clicked off my screen there. All right. So the next one that I checked out um, was a game called Rock. And Rock was not spelled your traditional R-O-C-K. This one's actually R-O-K-H. Um, and that one, it was, it was a, it's a, it's a survival game. Uh, imagine a lot like Ark, actually, but actually based on Mars. So that was pretty cool. Um, I didn't actually get a hands-on gameplay of this one. Um, they had moved the appointments on this one, and I had missed a chunk of the interview. Uh, so, and I, I actually had to go hit another interview, but. It looks like it was really cool. They're actually going to add a, a lot more elements to it. So it's um, not only you're going to have to, you know, watch hunger and health and dehydration and all that, but you're going to have to watch oxygen and, uh, you know, energy and there's physics to it and just all kinds of really cool stuff um, that we'll also cover in the future as well. So let's see, what else do I have here? That was for air. Um, there was a couple other games that I wanted to check out at that booth, but uh, I hadn't quite got there yet. Um, one of them uh, that I really like 100% am looking forward to was called Mages of Mistralia. And Mages of Mistralia was was definitely um, a very cool game. You you start off as this character that um, we're out of stamina. I never thought I'd be on a Pariser when it ran out of stamina. Um, but you start off as this character that is uh, learning magic, and that's this like the basis of the story is magic uh, used to flow through this kingdom all the time, and then you know it became outlawed after someone turned bad, and uh, you know she starts to unlock the powers of the four elements, and uh, you know she can do different stuff. But what I really found interesting about this game in what I really look forward to is the customiz customization of spells in this game. So um, if uh, if any of you guys have uh, played uh, Minecraft and you went through the mod called... Uh, oh, goodness. It was a magic mod that you could actually build spells. Um, I I did a tutorial on it a long while back, and now I don't remember what the game or what the mod was called. Um, oh man, goodness! But yeah, you can add these modifiers to the spells. So you have like different modifiers where you have a conjure and an orb and a strike, a melee type thing, and then you have a self ability. And uh, so you just have different things, and then you can add other uh, modifiers to these as well. So you can have it move, or you can have it teleport, or you can have it multiply, or have it go a certain direction. So there was a lot of stuff that was, was really neat about it, and I very much look forward to playing that one as well. I uh, checked out a lot of VR-related games at the convention. Uh, one of those was uh, one called Modbox, and I'm definitely, if I ever get a Vive, which I'm not sure I will or not, uh, at, at, at the current price point, you know what I mean? Um, it's uh, it's kind of like a Gary's Mod meets Minecraft type thing uh, where you can kind of build these custom games within the game, and it was, it was really neat. Um, and just being able to, to play with a Vive and check that out and kind of see, you know, how that developed... Um, there was different games like archery and darts and uh, bowling and Jenga and all kinds of cool stuff in that game that was really cool. Another VR game that we checked out was one called uh, uh, Space Pirate Trainer or Space Pirate Academy, something along those lines. Uh, this one I actually tried at the Newegg booth uh, for their VR. They were showing off a laptop that could run VR. I don't know that we can take on a Carno with my Parasaur, Parasaur so I'm, I'm kind of running away there. Um, let's see. Yeah, that one was really cool. It was kind of a, you know, you shoot and everything, 
but you could also, you know, you could dodge, you could deflect and everything, but you could also move around the environment. And it really just showcased off the uh, the vibe really well. Um, you know, it wasn't a very in-depth game. It was basically like a shooter, but it was definitely really cool. So um, probably one of my favorite games at the event that I got to try uh, besides mages was Faded. And Faded is a... It's a story-based VR-only game, which um, I think is going to be really cool. It, it might hurt them a little bit, in my opinion, but it definitely is going to be a good game. Uh, you're, you kind of play as this this deaf man, and you're, you're going through trying to save... Um, that was a 112 saber tooth. Holy cow, I can't believe we just killed it. And I didn't even get a level off of that. Like, that's hot garbage. Um but yeah, you, you're going through and you're, you're trying to defend your family and everything. And I'm not entirely sure what the storyline with Faded is. I just know the game when I played it was absolutely fantastic. And like I said, you know, all these games that I'm talking about here, um, I'm going to, you know, do coverage on them. You know, talk about them a little more in depth. Show you guys trailers and stuff like that. And uh, there was even some games that um, I checked out that I don't have listed in front of me. Uh, that you know I have sitting next to me. Oh, dang! Terror birds getting me now. Run, run, run! Oh man, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. We might lose our parasur here. All right, get over here. Attack me! Attack me! Come on. Killed the terror bird. No, we lost our Parasur. Oh, man. Oh, dang it, man. Well, that's a big bummer. We got all this stuff here. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, well, um, yeah, I'm actually, since I lost that Parasur, I think we're going to come back in another episode. I didn't realize that I've just rambled on for 17 minutes. Uh, about what I've seen at PAX. Um, I did actually meet um, uh, Tech Syndicate, which was really cool to meet him. It was, I uh, got to meet Generic B, Pungents, uh, there's one other guy, Generic B, Pungents, and oh, Paul Soros Jr. I uh, was really excited to meet him as well. He was a guy that I've watched for a long, long time in my, before I even started my YouTube career. So that was really cool. Yeah. And, uh, for those of you the guys that are wondering, the vlog will be coming soon. Um, what I ran into was I recorded a lot of the vlog footage on my on my uh, my phone. I got the H or the uh, Samsung Galaxy uh, S7 Edge, and it's got a fantastic camera on it. But um, the the machine that I take to edit and everything with to these events is a MacBook Pro, and they wouldn't talk to each other at all. So uh, I kind of didn't have a way to to get the footage onto my MacBook. Um, I tried to do Dropbox, but it like was going to take like three hours to transfer one file to Dropbox and then another three hours to download that. So, yeah, the Internet in the hotel was not very good at all. Um, but, yeah, so uh, like I said, I'm going to wrap it up here. This is just kind of a PAX recap for you guys. Um, I think in another episode or two, I'll try and get some parasers maybe off camera. Um, I didn't see any around here, so I might have to go out and uh, kill some or, or what. But, um, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I know it wasn't quite the same video that we do a lot, but um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.